Okay, looking at the sequence does not very, look very nice. Um, and what we're not doing is adding a constant value every time. In fact, we are multiplying by something every time. We're timesing by root five. So when I times this by root five, then it becomes three times five, which is 15. And then you can see here, this one I also times by root five. This is a geometric sequence. And the next term is therefore gonna be 15 root five times root five, which is 15 times five, which is 75. The nth term is a bit trickier. Uh, I'm gonna take a bit of time on this. Okay, so like I said before, I'm timesing by root five every time. But this one is itself is not root five, so it's not. It's going to be something like root five to the power of n, because that's what's going on. I'm timesing by root five every time, but it's not this because it started with a three. So I'm going to imagine that this is something times root five, and then I'm timesing by root five, so this is going to be something times root five squared, because I'm timesing by root five another time, and then this is going to be something times root five cubed, and that's the third term, and so the nth term is going to be something times root 5 to the n. The question is, how do we find this something? Well, I can do similar to what we do with a linear sequence, and I can find the zeroth term. I can go back the other way, so I can divide through by root 5 to find what the zeroth term would be, because you could see that will leave me with the question mark by itself when I divide by root 5, and I'm left with 3 over root 5. That will be what my zero term is, and that's my question mark. So it's going to be 3 over root 5 multiplied by root 5 to the n. And I could write that in there. I probably get two marks for that because I can cancel it down. Because I could write it as 3 times root 5 to the n divided by root 5, and I can use my rules of powers like x to the n divided by x is x to the one here. So that becomes x to the n minus one. It's the same here. It's gonna be three times root five to the n minus one. That's the most simple answer you can write as.